Welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. When you come in, subscribe, subscribe. When you come in, click the thumbs up on my videos. We got some sad news, some sad news, some sad, depressing news. Uh, Master P daughter, um, Tatiana Miller, she passed away yesterday. She died, you know what I'm saying? She passed away due to her medical illness. You know what I'm saying? I think she was suffering, um, I think she had schizophrenic, bipolar, and, you know, mental, me mental illness. You know what I'm saying? I think she was taking medication for her mental illness and stuff, and... You know, um, we don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if she took her life. We don't know, like, if, you know, something happened. Did she take, did she take, did she overdose on too many pills? Then, you know, we don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to say rest in peace. Rest in peace to Master P daughter, Tatiana Miller. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I'm saying her name right. But her last name is Miller. Her first name is Tatiana Miller. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young black queen. She was a beautiful black queen, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad, though. You know what I'm saying? Because kids supposed to, kids, we don't supposed to bury our kids. We Kids supposed to bury our grown-ups. Kids supposed to bury their fathers. Kids supposed to bury their mothers. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what Master P is going through. He's going through a lot right now. You know what I'm saying? So if any, everybody get this, you know, um, Go to his Instagram and show Master P some love, you know what I'm saying? You know, sorry for your loss, Master P, you know what I'm saying? Sorry for your loss, Lil' Romeo, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand what you're going through, man, you know, because when you lose a kid, you know what I'm saying, it feel like, it feel like you, you feel like you you lost yourself. It feel like you, you died too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, I guess she was bad on a, a, a drug addiction. You know what I'm saying? She was bad on a drug addiction, you know what I'm saying, for the past year or two. You know what I'm saying? I understand her situation because, you know, I, I used to be in the same predicament. You know what I'm saying? I was addicted to um, Xanax. I was addicted to Xanax pills. You know what I'm saying? I was addicted to Xanax pill for about, like, two years. Two years. You know what I'm saying? I've been clean for about... Two and a half years. I've been clean for two and a half years. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what she was going through. I don't know if was she taking Xanax, you know, but that was my drug of choice when I was on when I was picking the drugs. I was fucking with Xanny bars, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm clean, you know what I'm saying? I'm clean, you know what I'm saying? I was on that shit for a long time. I was on that shit for like two years or a year and a half and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I had to get up off of that shit because I kept on seeing what the fuck it was doing to me. I kept on seeing what it was doing to me. I kept on seeing, you know, nobody didn't want to be around me when I was on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers say I changed. You know what I'm saying? So I understand her pain. You know what I'm saying? I understand her pain. You know what I'm saying? I understand what Master P going through. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, she, she, she you know, she's still here with you, Master P. You know what I'm saying? She's still here with you. She in your, you know, she in your heart. You know what I'm saying? in your heart always you know what I'm saying it's just sad when you lose a daughter it's sad when you lose a mom it's sad when you lose a dad you know what I'm saying <clears throat> I lost my dad a year ago you know what I'm saying my dad he died a year ago you know what I'm saying it was fucked up though cause when he passed away you know I couldn't even make it out there to his funeral you know what I'm saying I couldn't even make it out there to his funeral you know what I'm saying cause he, um, he got cremated but I couldn't make it to the they had something going on you know for my father I couldn't make it out there you know what I'm saying cause he was all the way in Florida I'm all, I was all the way out there in Seattle, Washington, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't make it out there, you know what I'm saying, to support, you know, my dad, you know? But, you know, I understand, man, you know, it ain't nothing. When you lose a family member, bro, you go through some hell, you go through shit, you go through hard times, and you go through a lot of shit, man. And it's just like, it feel like it's only you, you know what I'm saying, going through it. It feel like ain't nobody else going through it but you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just wanted to pay my respect and say rest in peace to Master P daughter, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tatiana Miller, you know what I'm saying? You know, is it sad, man? She was young, she was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And she was a good, she had a good head on her shoulders. She had a good head on her shoulders and she was beautiful, but you didn't know. Uh, the fans didn't know and the people didn't know she was hurting inside though. She was hurting inside, you know what I'm saying? And so what people do is what people, this for everybody who don't know around the world, what people do, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers go through shit just because you don't see it on their face expression. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, 
We hide it. We hide it. And we use drugs to motherfucking cover up our pain. We use drugs to numb ourselves when we're going through something. Because we don't want to be sober and deal with the real shit. You know, we don't want to deal with it being sober. You know what I'm saying? We'd rather numb ourselves. We'd rather motherfucking um, fill your body up with drugs and just numb the pain and shit. So you just, because when you're on drugs, you don't think about the problem then. You know what I'm saying? But right when you sober up, you, it's, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. So at the end of the day, you know, <clears throat> any kids that grown up thinking about taking pills, thinking about smoking weed, thinking about smoking crack, thinking about doing methamphetamines, all them drugs is a no-no. You know what I'm saying? Don't do drugs. Drugs is not good for you. You know what I'm saying? Drugs is very, 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 very bad. You know what I'm saying? And I got loved ones on drugs right now. And, you know, my loved ones, they choose the drugs over, 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 really over friendship. You know what I'm saying? Over friendship or over relationship. You know what I'm saying? I got motherfuckers around me who choose drugs over rather kicking it with me or spending time with me. They rather be like, fuck this, fuck this. I can't come and spend the time with you, Alan, unless I'm on drugs. You know, so I don't want that type of energy around me. You know what I'm saying? Because you could do bad by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could do bad by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't want no motherfucker around me where he got to be on drugs 24-7 just to cope. You know what I'm saying? Just to cope. But, you know, but I, I motherfuckers be around me who just doing drugs to just be doing drugs because they want to get high. And they don't know how to, you know, um, live a sober life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. It's just crazy, man, but, you know, drugs ain't for no one in this world. Drugs ain't for no one, you know what I'm saying? That that weed, that shit, that shit could come addicted. Meth could come addicted. Um, Adderall could come addicted. Xanax could come addicted. Anything could be a, a drug. Anything could be a drug. You could have a motherfucking, you could have a, you could go um, shopping every day as a motherfucking drug. You got to go shop and spend four, four to five hundred dollars every day. That's a motherfucking drug for real. You know what I'm saying? Because when the money run out, <clears throat> you're going you gonna to be going through withdrawals and all that shit because um, you ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be going through withdrawals, be going through all that bullshit. Nah, motherfuckers get it fucked up. Motherfuckers be saying, oh, you a drug head, you a drug head. Motherfuckers be um, quick to call a motherfucker a drug head, but hold up. America is fucked up because the thing is, the reason why America is fucked up because we judge each other. We need to stop judging each other. I be like, it'd be three o'clock in the motherfucking morning. I see motherfuckers at McDonald's. I see motherfuckers at McDonald's in the line. The line be all the way backed out, all the way to the motherfucking drive through. That's a drug. McDonald's. Motherfucker going to McDonald's, eat McDonald's. That's a drug because at the end of the day, that food ain't real. That's motherfucking food ain't real. That that burger, what you about to put in your motherfucking stomach, ain't real. That shit fake. It, it tastes like rubber. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck out of here. McDonald's is a drug. Taco Bell is a drug. Burger King is a drug. You know what I'm saying? Because they giving people fast food so they can kill you fast. You know what I'm saying? That's how people get hard. That's how people have heart attacks. How, that's how people have... Get diabetes. That's how motherfuckers people get um a stroke. All that shit, mo. You just you you can get all the same problems for doing a drug, but you can get the same problems for eating food. You know, for eating food. You know what I'm saying? I just hate motherfucking judgmental people. You know what I'm saying? So you know when a when a judgmental person try to come and try to think he gonna tell you something, you gotta you gotta you gotta put his ass in check. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Because the same way, right, a motherfucker will be like, hey, man, you need to stop smoking cigarettes, right? You need to stop smoking cigarettes, bro. Okay, well, I need to stop smoking cigarettes. Okay, let's pick out, let's find something what you need to stop doing. Bam, I found it. Okay, nigga, you need to stop spending your life, nigga, on, on, on the motherfucking internet all day. Stop spending your life on social media, nigga, posting shit on, on Instagram, nigga, where they ain't getting your ass nowhere in life. You know what I'm saying? For real, that's a drug. You know what I'm saying? Being on the internet 24-7, posting on Instagram, that's a motherfucking drug. Like, man, this is crazy, man, because everything could be a drug in the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just look at drugs. Oh, a person, oh, that person died over a crack. Oh, that person died over a meth. Oh, that person died over um this. That person died over this. Okay, hold up. This motherfucker went to McDonald's, ate 20 hamburgers, and died off of 20 hamburgers. And then he didn't die off no drugs, but he died off of the 20 hamburgers. That shit crazy, though, right there, right? That's a drug. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just, man, the only thing I can tell y'all, man, is this, you know, man, just keep God in your life. You know what I'm saying? Keep God in your life and just walk the, walk the right way what you think was right. Walk the right way what you think was right. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. 
you know what I'm saying? Always make sure you look out for your, your friends, your family, and make sure they look out for you the same way you look out for them. You know what I'm saying? And always get back. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get back every day, but try to get back once a month to to somebody out in the world. Because, you know, that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? If it's a homeless person out there, try to help the homeless person out. You don't got to give a homeless person money. You can, you can give them a, 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 you can give them some fucking food, and that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just the world is just all fucked up nowadays. I mean, everybody got want to be judgmental and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, motherfuckers want to be judgmental, and then motherfuckers want to judge people all the time. And that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't tell motherfuckers, oh, Oh, you went to go. You went to go spend two hundred dollars on some Jordans. Oh, nigga, that's a drug. You went. You went to go get two hundred. You went to the store and spent two hundred dollars on some Jordans. When that two hundred dollars could have went on your a uh, 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 fucking light bill. It could have been on your rent or anything. You wear them shoes two or three days, and then you want you want to buy some new ones. That's a drug right there. Anything could be a drug, you know. So at the end of the day, man, rest in peace to Master P, daughter. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to her, man. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Master P, daughter. I know what Master P going through. Rest in peace to his daughter, man. My prayers go out to him and his family. You know what I'm saying? You know, just fucked up, man. But I want everybody to go to Master P Instagram and show Master P some love. You know what I'm saying? Show him some love. You know what I'm saying? And just tell him to keep his head up. Tell him to keep God in his life. And God going to walk you right through. God going to show you the rest of the way how to go. God going to show you the past the past in life, how to do shit, you know what I'm saying, if you don't got God in your life, you're not gonna win, remember that, if you don't got God in your life, you're not gonna win, you're gonna always fail, you always gonna run through, you always gonna run through a brick door, and get hit with it, bam, 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 cause you, you ain't got God in your life, you know, yeah, but make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, man, I love y'all, man, you know,